All right, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to be going over four losing mentalities that I feel a lot of store owners in e-commerce have, and it's causing them to not make any money and get the results that they're trying to get. So real quick, if you're new to the channel, then subscribe real quick and make sure to check out all the other videos on the channel because there is pretty much anything you'd want to know regarding Shopify on this channel already, whether it's Facebook marketing, drop shipping, t-shirts, setting up your store, adding Facebook pixels. There's tutorials for everything on the channel, so definitely subscribe and go watch those videos. But I'm going to say this video is even more important than all of those because if you have these, any of these mentalities going in it doesn't matter how much technical knowledge you have you're done you're just you're not going to make any money so without further ado let's just hop right into it so the first losing mentality is analysis paralysis and what this is is most people spend more time over analyzing things when they should be taking action you know they'll be sitting there thinking well, I got to make this ad perfect or my store has to look just right or my product doesn't look good enough or, you know, just, just a bunch of stuff that they, you know, that you want to have good. Like you want it to be nice, but it's never going to be perfect. You just have to do it. And the only way that you can learn how to fully optimize something is to try it and fail and mess up a few times. So the solution here is to stop trying to make everything perfect accept that it will never be perfect, and then just take action. So the next thing is either people with a small budget or people that have a budget, but they're just cheap. So first off, if you only have $50 to put into your store, just go get some more money, dude. Like, I have a video on the channel where you can make a few thousand dollars in a month on eBay with having no money at all in the beginning. So if you need money, go watch that video. I'll link it in an annotation somewhere here. But that's not even the only way you can do this. There are countless ways to do this. You know, if you, if you don't have a job, just get a job. If you have a job, get another job. You know, there's so many ways that you can get more than $50 to start your business with. And if you're one of the people that have money to put into this, but you aren't willing to use it and you're afraid to lose it, then you're done. You, you know, you might as well just stop right now because you just have to accept the fact that you will lose money sometimes, especially in the beginning. You know, this is business. Welcome to business. You know, this isn't, you know, well, I put in my hours at work, so I should get paid. No, if you put in 10 hours of business, there's no guarantee that you're going to get paid because this is business. You have to make sure you get paid. This has nothing to do with I clocked in, I clocked out and I'm getting money. That's not how this works. So accept the fact that you will lose money sometimes and that everything starts slow. And, you know, just stop being cheap. Stop looking for the free way or the cheapest way to do something and start looking for the best way because you're not going to make money trying to penny pinch. No one ever saved their way to a profitable business. You have to grow your income, not lower your expenses to the point where it's just nothing, where you're spending $2.00. And, you know, I'm not saying to go out and be an idiot and blow $500 testing out one ad. No, you should start your ads testing them out at $5. But don't be cheap about it. You know, don't be cheap about anything. Don't not spend $13 to buy a custom domain for your store. Things like that. Just don't be cheap. Make sure you're setting up everything the best way possible to maximize your chance of success. So the third disease that people have the losing mentality is lack of persistence literally no exaggeration most people quit after a few days if they don't see an immediate ROI they stop and give up and you know what dude welcome to business accept the fact that you will fail countless times you're gonna get hit in the face over and over and over again you can't expect to come in with $25 and start a profitable business in three days. That's just not going to happen. You have no business knowledge. You have some technical knowledge, but you have no business knowledge. And you're expecting to turn $25 into like 200 in a couple days. And if that doesn't happen, you quit. Well, I mean, 
that's delusional. You can't think like that. You, you just have to keep going until it works. Keep adjusting and be adaptable, which leads into the fourth losing mentality, stubbornness and or pride. Most people that fail, fail because they're unwilling to adapt to circumstances or change in their business. Most people won't admit that they're wrong and that they need to make a change in their business to improve it. For example, if you're, if you're running an ad and it's been converting well, and then a week later it just stops converting, and you know, maybe this is a fluke, so you give it another week, but it's still not converting, don't sit there, you know, and be unadaptable like, like a rock and be like, well, I can't change this ad because it used to work, and now, it do, you know, it doesn't, but it'll work again. No, if it's not working anymore, you cut the ad. It's that simple, and you adapt and you change. Maybe what was selling last week isn't going to sell this week. Maybe, maybe you know, your whole store, maybe your niche just dies out. You know, that happens sometimes. Don't sit there and feel sorry for yourself or be so stubborn that you don't switch. Like, if your niche dies out, just get a new one. You know, be willing to adapt and move on. So the solution here is to be results-based. There's no room for emotion or pride in your business. If something isn't working, you just need to adapt and change it. That's it. So in conclusion, you need to avoid these four roadblocks and you'll be well on your way to profits. As I said, if you're new to the channel, check out the other Shopify tutorials. They're all technical-based. You'll have all the technical knowledge you need from creating a store, setting up pixels, tracking with your ads, targeting with ads, everything like that. It's all covered. The technical knowledge is here, but don't even bother with any of that if you can't eliminate these four losing mindsets from the get-go. And if you've already watched the other videos, then start applying the mindsets covered here, and you'll be on the right track to getting your business to profits. So in summary, number one, don't overthink. Just take action. Stop overthinking and worrying if everything's perfect. And just get out there, throw crap at the wall, and take action and see what sticks. Number two, if you have no money, just go get some money, dude. And be willing to spend money to get to the next level. Don't be cheap. Number three, don't quit until you have your desired result, period. That, that you, you just have to tell yourself, I'm not stopping until I have a profitable store. And number four, you know, screw your ego, just throw it out the window, be willing to adapt in a moment's notice. That's it. This, this may seem like it's completely unrelated to Shopify and your success in selling in an e-commerce store, but I'm telling you, this is more important than all of the technical stuff that you're going to learn on the channel, because if you don't avoid these roadblocks, you're done. You might as well not even try. So if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.